But we got some new music today, people. Now, a lot of you say, you know, with the whole new music thing, you know, a lot of people are, you're, you're, well, why did you do music this week? You've got to do music this week. I, I'm not, I only do music when I have it. All right. I'm not going to make shit up. You know, there's not every week I come across enough songs to, you know, make a list, right? It, it, only when it comes up. But a lot of things came up in the last couple of weeks. I've been compiling this little list. And these are five songs that you should absolutely add to your crates. And I hope you do. And I hope you like them. And let me know what you think. Number one, Meet Me at Our Spot by The Anxiety, Willow, and Tyler Cole. Um, how's the song go? It's a vibe. It's like a TikTok popular song. It goes like, it's kind of weird. I can't even sing it. My girl plays this nonstop all day, every day. Uh, I dropped that at a wedding twice uh, this past weekend and people were bopping to it. It's a very, very popular song on the internet. Uh, it's a unique um, kind of melody, you know? It's like something like, it's a definitely unique. It doesn't sound like other songs. Like it's like a unique ass song. So, you know, it, it definitely, I, I like it. You know, at first I heard it and I was like, this is stupid. Honestly, so like if you first listen to it, you might think it's stupid. I thought it was stupid the first time I heard it, but it'll grow on you. It's one of those songs you listen to like two, three times. It's like, you know what? This is kind of a bop. <laughs> and it, and it, so add this to your dinner crates and stuff like that. I, I think it's a great, you know, brand new song. It's Willow. Willow is like Will Smith's uh, daughter, you know? So uh, she had the whip my hair back and forth back in the day. You know, so it's that same artist. So she's all grown now with her new, new shit. And uh, yeah, definitely check this one out. Uh, Doja Cat, get into it. Yeah. I love how it says, yeah, um, this is, this is, you know, this is also definitely a unique kind of uh, chorus kind of melody. Um, I dropped it. I got a request for Doja Cat at my wedding on Thursday night when I was in the balcony and, and I was like, and it's like dancing. And I was like, oh, well, I don't, to, you know, I didn't really, I was like, well, what do I, you know, the, everything's kind of in between to me. So um, I did, I, I played this song on my Twitch before. So I liked this song. So I was like, screw it, I'll try this. And it actually went off. So, you know, I would consider this in some of your sets. I wouldn't mix it for more. Like I would get out of it first course, right? You know, don't, don't mix it too long. But uh, if you want to squeeze this in your sets and test it out and see if it works with like a more modern crowd that listens to the radio, this, is, this song is on the radio all the time. So it's definitely very, very, very well known and people bop to it. And it's also not like a low tempo song. It's like in the 90s, I believe. So, you know, you can mix it in with a bunch of other stuff like in your like early 2000s set or whatever you're doing. And, uh, you know, work for me. I think it'll work for you. So definitely add it if you haven't heard of it. Um, Ed Sheeran is coming out with a new album. Uh, the 29th, this Friday, he's coming out with it, Equals. Coolest album cover ever. I love this album cover. I think it's sick. Uh, and he has a single off of it called Shivers. It's been working great for, uh, like, doors open, right? You know, people are coming into the ballroom after cocktail hour. You want to play a nice upbeat vibe so people two-step and sexy walk on the way, their seats and all that. This is a great song, great little, like, upbeat kind of vibe. I don't know if it's a dance floor banger yet. I'm scared to play it. Haven't tried it. But I think it's great for early on like that. And the whole album itself will be out this Friday. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of useful songs for us. Ed Sheeran has given us many of many of played out first dance songs in the past. So I don't think he's going to disappoint with this one either. So definitely check out his new album as a whole. And then Shivers, you know, like I said, add those to your crates. And Red Eye. I actually have two more. I don't want to act like this is the last one. There's two more. Red Eye by Justin Bieber featuring Troy Boy. I teared up when I saw this. I was so excited. So I've been following Troy Boy since like 2014, 2013. This Troy Boy is a producer out of UK, and he's always had a super unique type of sound to his beats. He always just made these like crazy beats, and uh, I, I, don't know, I just loved his shit. Like I would just like work out to it or like just listen to it or play it on like I played – bunch of Troy Boy on my Twitch streams before and all that shit and I've used it in mixes and I've always been a fan I actually went and saw him live years ago I think it was like 2016 in like this little theater you know and we just like we were just bopping out it was cool as shit but he finally made it he finally got a song with Justin Bieber like the dude made it and 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 this song is a bop it's a great 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 song um for like dinner chilling or whatever and it's a true Troy Boy beat it, it has his style written all over it and I'm just like I'm so happy the guy made it man I've been I've been following him since 
since he was like a nobody. And now he's like working with Justin Bieber. It's like crazy. Uh, you know, like, I don't know him. I'm, I'm, I'm saying I've been a fan for a long time and I think it's a great song. I've been adding it to my crates. I've been bumping it. Uh, not just cause I'm a fan of him, but you know, it really is like a, like a, like a bop and it's a, uh, it's catching, it's catching heat on the charts. People are, uh, people are talking about it. And, uh, somebody says Ed Sheeran looked like an IT guy. <laughs> he does. He looks like he knows everything about Windows 98. And the last and final song is a throwback that I forgot about. That played at a bar that me and uh, my fiance were at in Philly. And everyone was, the whole bar, we were, we were, it was Wednesday night before I went to the Eagles game, we were at this bar, and they were doing, a, it was like a quizzo night, so like we were, we were you know, we, were, we had a team and we were doing the quiz thing or whatever, and they played this song in between, and everyone started singing it. And I was like, oh shit, I forgot all about this song. And that is Ordinary Day by Vanessa Carlton. If you don't remember it, just look it up and listen to it. Banger absolute banger completely forgot about this song completely forgot it was super big uh on the radio all the time i forget what year probably early early 2000s 2002 2003 era this might be the same album i didn't like have her album back in the day so i don't remember but like this might be the same album as like the uh the uh the thousand um not thousand years thousand uh you know what I'm talking about you know the, the dun, 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 dun. And I need you, like all that shit. I think it's probably, or at least that same era, but banger, banger, banger. Add it to your crates. It went right in my sing-along crate for dinner. I've been playing it ever since, and it literally goes off. Like, trust me, trust me. It's just a sleep on banger. I feel like nobody, everybody forgot about this. Everybody, when 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 that thousand, why well, can't I think of the, the, the name of the song? Somebody give me the name of the song, that thousand something. Um, it's not thousand years, because that's uh, that's the Christina Perry. The uh, Thousand miles, thousand miles. Um when that thousand miles song was featured in white girls or white chicks, that movie, and they did the funny thing or whatever, I feel like that trumped everything else Vanessa Carlton did. And everybody only remembered that thousand years song or the thousand miles song, I keep that sound. you know, and, and, and everyone forgot about these other bangers she had. Like this was, uh, this was on the radio all the time and it has been smashing for me. So definitely, definitely, definitely at it for sure. So everybody's like miles, miles, idiot, miles, crazy. So yeah, so definitely add those songs to your crates. Catch my show live every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time.